good range. He's got good range right now. So right now, they're just trying to get in on each other. Oh, there we go. Big grab. Got a dash attack going out here. Don't they? Yeah, poor smash. Yeah, but so he's gotta watch out. Ooh. Thirty more percent though, and he'll have to. Gotta watch out for the grab. Yeah, he's about to get his like demon. There's an inner demon or something. Those mines really uh screwing him right now. The grab doing yeah, good though. Yeah, if, if he gets to 100, I think Snake is going to use that now. Yeah, yeah if he gets yeah. hit by that, it's that's, over. That's kill percent right there. Will he do it? Snake is a heavy. He might live. But... Can he hit it though? Oh, Snake. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh, oh it didn't snake, kill though. Snake no. is a heavy hitter, right. so I wasn't oh, skeptical. Oh, is he going to be able to get the yeah, edge though? Yeah, Oh, so close. Yeah, Snake's recovery. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, that's one stop. It's okay, it's okay. We'll come back, we'll come back. Alright. Ah! Uh, right, good go. combo, good combo. Kazooie and all his combos really doing work right now. Alright, Snake is done in the mallet for grenades. Making this a good mallet. Kazooie is still finding a way to go in, and that's a huge game. Down the throw. Rockets. Those projectiles really got to watch out for being a close range fighter and all. Yeah, he does have his laser to kind of keep him out a little bit, but that's really all the tools that Kazuya has for long range. He does have a reflector though, but he hasn't been using that. Yeah, I wonder if he, uh, he I, I would assume he knows the input. He might not. I don't know the input. Yeah. I'm also a bit surprised I haven't been seeing the uh, down throw, uh, like, uh, uppercut, like the... God fist, the wind god yeah. fist, or something. Oh, those projectiles are really. really yeah, good ones. it's man. Yeah, uh, you can't recover yeah. against it. Takeda is just. It, that's what it excels at. Mm -hmm. All right, super armor with the forward smash. So far, things are. The projectiles. Looking, the mines are getting them. Grim, but there's a chance. Yeah. Kazuya's look. Kazuya's definitely got some jank that he can do. Yeah, he he uh he can take this back though. Yeah, Kazuya's got good comeback mechanics. Dang. Alright. Well, the problem is... Oh, that's bad. I mean, he's got he's got his thing. But it would have been better if he had it in the second time. So it's good that he's taking that one. Alright. 108%. Let's see if he can get this. Alright. Oh, but yeah, Snake up tilt is at kill percent. And it's Snake's fastest like, option. And it kills really early. Yeah. So. I think as long as he stays close to the ground, though, and not going for aerials, he should be able to get it. Ooh. Get the grabs. Oh. Yeah, he do it doesn't seem like he knows any of the true combos on the grab. But. I mean, it's all about just getting A hit in. And so far, it looks like Snake. Snake is trying too hard to get these melee hits, and he's yeah. playing a bit aggressive, which oh. is definitely going in his favor. Alright, we got the seven, si seven hit combo. Ooh, oh, okay. He's still good. He's still right, good. Down there to recover. That was smart. Right, the only problem is he'll die to anything now. Yeah, but then again, Snake at 105, and he's got max rage. Oh. One more F tilt. This could be a comeback. Game. Oh! There it is. Big comeback. A beautiful Big comeback. comeback. All right. Good job, Jacob. That's 1-0 against Peyton. And. Looks like JV is still in the process of getting set up. All right. All right. So. We're going to let them pick their characters real quick. All right. So, uh, Nick, you see the new Batman movie? Uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. That was a beautiful comeback by uh, Jacob, I, I'd say.
anyway? Yeah, it was beautiful recovery with the down air, and um, yeah, Snake was just fishing too hard for the up tilts. Um, oh man, hold on a moment. I'm seeing some fanciness over here. Really? Look at this. He's making a beautiful, beautiful creation here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is something I can commentate on. <laughs> uh, I, I used what, what, to... what would he go for though? Would he go for the Inkling Squid Hat, maybe? No. Surely he goes no. for like Sands or something. Oh, of course. Like... See, this is good. It's really entertaining watching like all these creations that they can make. Because... I'm entertained right now. Oh, for sure. Just the curiosity of what they're going to make. Yeah. All right. Oh, I saw the Sans hat. Team right. Rocket, will he make James from Team Rocket? I have made one of those before. Yeah, Team Rocket Grunt. I love these because you can just make the most obnoxious looking characters. And since I tend to play them... Oh, he's going Waluigi cap. Is he going to go for the... Oh, there isn't a Waluigi outfit, though. Damn. So if he wants to play as Waluigi, he's going to have to have a... Uh, what's it called? He's going to have to have a purple color set as his favorite. But it does All right, look let's like go back JV. to the varsity match. Yeah, JV is still making theirs, but varsity is... All right, here we go. Dark Pit versus Kazuya. Jacob sticking with Kazuya. And, yeah, looks like... And Peyton switching to Dark Pit. Oh, I don't think Jacob's ready yet. All right, yeah, looks like Jacob is going back. Um, all right, oh, here wait, we go. Here we go. Kazuya and Dark Pit. Let's see what. Let's see how this one will play out. All right. Now, what Kazuya's got to really watch out for now is the Electro Shock. That is Super Armor. Yeah, getting it because Kazuya's like main thing that he needs to do is get it. The fact that you could just side B through his stuff. But Kazuya does have super armor of his own, and also just starting it off with that parry. That's intimidating. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh! oh. Okay, 59 all right. right off the bat. That's an amazing yeah, he's start. Getting, he's Shield getting electro the shock. Now. 76% with only taking 8. Yeah, last time oh, he was man. struggling to hit those forward airs after the down throw, but he's hitting them now, and it is paying off. Beautiful down throw. He's already at kill. Oh percent. my goodness. The main downside though. And that's that, already a mind. kill. Being I virtually There's, unhit. Wow. There is no downside. I mean, really the only two things to look out for in Brett's case, he needs to watch out for the Electro Shock and he needs to remember that Pitt's got a very good recovery. But other yeah. than that, he's sad. I don't really think Pitt's recovery is going to matter here because Pitt's a relatively light character compared to Kazuya. Kazuya's light though. He is? Yeah, he's a lightweight. I did not know that. Yeah, I I was a bit surprised when they announced that. I guess it might have been to balance him out. It might be something war related, I don't know. But Maybe. yeah, he's, he's at he's at 69%. Oh, the electroshock shield break. Oh, this is sad. That won't I don't, I don't think this will kill. Him. Oh wait, wow. Alright, well... All right. he, I mean, he's got a huge percent lead. Yeah, he's still, he's still got a 94... Alright, well... He's definitely got this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As long as Pit doesn't, like, forward air chain him off stage, he should be fine. And that's really another threat of Pit, is his Mare and Fair can chain into each other off stage very easily. And it can just... And people with poor recoveries. Not not to say Kazuya has a bad recovery. His recovery is good. Yeah. But, oh, uh, and there is another stock down. Yeah, both, for both of them have been with a forward tilt. So, yeah, Jacob's doing really well right now. And, um, yeah, Peyton's trying to, like, just find that opening. Not getting it. He's going for that same combo. There wasn't enough stage. Jacob going for more grabs here, it's going really well. Yeah, he has been shielding a lot, and you know, if you do an option on Kazuya's shield... Oh, and he just... Oh, he's using the, uh, what's it called? It's like the wave dash, and he's Ooh. invincible during it, so he can use it to approach. Looks like he's utilizing that as well. Alright, oh. he's, he's going for more, more oh, variety. Oh, he hit the pit spike, that's really hard to hit. Yeah, he Sadly, wasn't off stage though. Even if the pit spike hits, it's just... Oh man. It's very weak. And yeah, Pit, Pit is holding on for dear life right now. He, one, he's just punching him. He, one one forward tilt and he's done. I think he's disrespecting him. He's just standing there waiting for him to approach. 
Dude, bro, <laughs> Jacob's just disrespecting this guy. Oh, he was. I think he was waiting for that. Oh, there oh, it is. That's oh, game. Oh my god. All right. The disrespect. That was beautiful. <laughs> I think that is the full game. All right. So we are going to switch back over to. What a game! Jacob coming back in the first game from a one from a one stock loss with a hundred percent already. Yep. So Jacob won both matches. Wow, that was a great game between both of them. I'd say the dark pit was a smart choice, although I would say that a little bit too many electro shots, huh? Yeah, if you do that on Kazuya's shield, you're pretty much dead. Or you're either you're dead or you're taking like 50%. It's it, it's good until it's not. It's pretty crazy how how you can how you how how he took he took 100% without even virtually being hit. He did? Yeah, he was only at 21% at full killing him. All right, technical difficulties. So it looks like Varsity is probably going to be up first compared to JV, but maybe not. But yeah, just wanted to say there might be a slight delay for uh, next game because technical difficulties are happening. I'm still curious about that me fighter. I wanna. I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad that we won't be able to watch the JV game with the me fighter. It yeah. does look like the next player is up there. Yeah. All right. Oh, this is the Zelda player I played against. Um, funny story. I played against this guy about like 30 times. I won one game, and it was playing, and it was the only game I didoed him, and I won. Every other game I lost, he bodied me. I played him once as Joker and lost horribly. Yep. It yeah, turns out the only, SD. only way you could beat a god with Zelda is to play their own character, I guess. Apparently, it seems that way. Yep. Alright, but it looks like they are their character is selected. They probably still have to go through the stage strike process. All right, we're back. Uh, so it looks like Zelda player is going to be Elijah. All right, it looks like we're gonna have a Zelda versus a Dark Pit. Can we see how that matchup goes? As we saw in the last one, Dark Pit was working a little bit too, uh, we're working a little bit against the player with using too many Electro Shocks. Let's see if this, let's see if he'll do it the same thing this time. Yeah, let's see if this uh, Dark Pit has a less, a more healthy habit of not using as many. Nick, who do you think is uh, better in this matchup, uh, Dark Pit or Zelda? Um. Personally, I I don't know. I think Pit would be pretty good in this matchup because he has the reflector with his down B. That's true. And Zelda players, when I played against this guy, he relies heavily on zoning. And zoning is going to be way less effective when playing against a Dark Pit. That's true. And All even right. if he tries to rush Dark Pit, he has a side B super armor, which would be good. Man. Um. So yeah, this is pretty scary for Zelda, but if he's taught me one thing, he's he's beaten odds before. He's uh, No matter what character I played, he beat me, but that might just be a skill issue. Wow, I had a reflector when I played him too, and he still beat me. Wow, I, I, he he, uh, he up-beat me on the last stock too. Oh yeah, the, uh, Zelda up-beat, I went into training mode, it kills at 60. Wow. 
I I really always underestimated that up B, but apparently it's one of the best up B out of shields in the game. That it's quite is a, crazy. Yeah, it's another reason Zelda's a good character. Alright. Um, All right. Oh, actually, we might we might have some time to switch to JV. Oh, looks like we're actually getting it, giving JV a time to shine for a moment. Looks like we got a piranha plant. Uh, just just going to say that we might have to switch to varsity uh, in the middle of the match. Nothing against JV. It's just prioritized. But we will go ahead and watch them for the time being. Or actually, maybe we have play. Dale playing as the piranha plant. Oh, Dale. I wonder. Ah oh, man, yeah, I played. Players. I played against him only once, and it was during a uh, tournament to get our placement. And uh, I lost to him game one. He was playing piranha plant. I lost, so I switched to also piranha plant, and I beat him the other two games. It was pretty funny. He, he's pretty good. He's good at Piranha Plant, and um, he's good at Downbeat. I believe, I believe Dale can do, oh actually we might have to switch back to Varsity, this is unfortunate. I think we do have to switch back to Varsity. I think, yeah, I think we're gonna have yeah, to get back to Varsity. Oh, Alright, well I wish him the best of luck anyways, he's got this. I think we just, uh, wait. Actually. Alright, here we go. Alright, right. so. We've got hey. Elijah, the Zelda player. And, um, no offense to the other team. We're not going to be saying the other guy. It looks like Nick had to go play his match, so I'll be commentating along this time. Unless someone comes and helps me. Someone's coming to help me. Alright, we've got the match started as uh, Elijah playing Zelda against the Dark Pit. He's already zoning. The pit's got his reflected, but it's not doing very much right now. Electro shot going out, not hitting with the reflector of Zelda. Alright. Really baiting him out right now. Wow. Going straight in. Strong up throw, not killing them. Very high percentage right now to kill with most with most uh attacks. It's good going for the grab uh to get rid of the reflector. Playing a very good move. What the what Elijah has to watch out for now is the uh the uh, Nair, the Nair chain from uh, Dark Pit. That's really Pit's, uh, Pit's most dangerous thing besides Electro Shocker. Oh no, yeah. Dark Pit has great multi hit moves. Oh yeah. Uh, so you gotta watch out for this combo. Oh, yeah. oh, dash attack killing. Love to see that. All right, going right in. No. What he's what he's doing is he's, he's noticing that he likes to uh, shoot at the reflector odds. So he likes to go uh, for him more. Ready to apply the pressure. Yeah, for sure. And what Elijah especially is good at is using that phantom in a great situation. Oh, yeah. So. You really break that shield as you saw in the match. Yeah. The other thing uh, Elijah has to watch out for is it's, uh, Pit and Dark Pit's uh, really, really strong up air. Or up B. You recover from most places, honestly. Hitting with the up B. Good. Good, good move. Good move. Breaking the reflector. Great. Wow. Good. Great kill by Elijah. I say that's a great matchup for Dark in general. Because with the Phantom breaking the reflector easily, Dark gets found a very powerful act. Really? I was asking uh, Nick about it earlier. He said uh, he has the money on the side. Dark was a better matchup. Oh, really? Yeah. Got a 
shot himself. Oh, and Dark hitting him with the up air. It's gonna end up killing him, but it's okay. He's back for another. He's got two socks left. With, uh, Dark hit at 52. A multi hit, doing good. But the Phantom getting thrown out. Alright. Bomb. Good. Ninety-nine percent. Will he get? Will he get the killer? Will Darkpit make a comeback? In our last match, we had Jacob make a comeback. Will Will Darkpit be able to make a comeback? Darkpit's trying to play it very defensively. Yeah. Want to yeah. I don't think that's gonna work really against Zelda. Right. Zelda is just great at combat. Ooh, and the big up B will have the game going to Elijah. Great job, Elijah. That really was a great game. All right. Well, that was a great game, wouldn't you say? I would say it's a really good game. Um, for sure, the Dark Pit needs to be a little more wary of um, Zelda's Phantom. Uh, Elijah just known for using very good phantom plays. Really, uh, I I think I think he needs to stop doing after reflector as much because that's what's really getting him. Because he'll just go behind him and grab him. Oh, for sure, yeah. I think uh, if he could start using electro shocker more because that's also a reflector, that'd probably get him. <laughs> it's a very good strong move there. Uh, does need to watch out for Zelda's punishes. Elijah has a very good punish game there. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, doesn't seem like anything's happening right now between JV or Varsity. So looks like they're both just picking maps and characters. Alright, it looks like we're going to be back. Oh, he's sticking with Dark Pit. We're going to get another nice matchup, I see. Yeah, 
if he can uh, change up some of the strategy that he's using against the Zelda, I think he can stand a pretty good two, one, go! Go! All right, they've got Battlefield. All right, virtually same stage, but a little bit more, a little bit more uh, platforms. This is probably a little better for the uh, Dark Pits play style. Oh yeah. It's a very airy game, so if you can get him uh, stuck in the juggling combo, it's gonna be pretty good. Oh yeah, especially with the uh, Phantom getting thrown out. Uh, it already looks like he's uh, definitely improved on his playing style with the stage. Oh. Oh. I gotta find a way to get back to the stage safety here. Yep. Alright, I'm back on. Taking to the stage is a good plan. Doesn't want to get knocked off the car, so start taking the very deep way that you Oh yeah. Ooh, the dash attacks. The da Zelda's dash attack is freakishly strong, too. For sure. Her strong hits are good. And the live is freaking hit. That up the. Oh, and the phantom. Wow. Breaking the reflector and hitting with the phantom. That was amazing. Gave me chills, actually. <laughs> Dark pick getting a, going with a KO. But, uh, resetting very early. Phantom is really throwing the start to off. Yeah, I said before, one thing that Liza does especially well with the Zelda is the Phantom Fly. Back to low ground there. Nice hitbox on the board smash. Keeping him down. I don't really know if he could edge guard, I'd say, a pit, but. That's been difficult. But if anyone's gonna do it, all oh, what a good wow! Man. Breaking the reflective very early. He hit on the Ooh, Ooh. long hit on back attack. What amazing hit! Yeah. Rush goes for edge guard, takes him off the stage, but he just advantage to that. Dash attack. Oh. Getting behind the phantom coming out again. Oh, the back air. Also a very strong move Zelda has. All over here. Oh, bad DI, I'd say. At 70, that shouldn't have killed. Good wow. grab. Good grab. Darkfix got to stop the reflection that. Ooh, what the a spike. spike! Gotta love the spike. A great game by Zelda. Very, wow. Very much playing to her advantage. Oh, yeah. That was. I'd say that was probably the best game yet. For sure, for sure. Wow. So, Josh, back to what you were saying about the Zelda. Uh, she really did have a lot more versatile moves that could keep Dark Pit at bay. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Zelda in the matchup, at least what I think of personally, she does well with her phantom plays. She does well with grabbing him out of the reflector, as you saw multiple times in the matchup. Dark Pit really can't use his reflector to his fullest extent with the with the aspect of it being able to be broken so easily and the phantom coming in afterwards. Um, as well as her being able to get out of some combos with neutral B. That's true. Dark. It looks like Elijah just won, so we're actually going to switch now to the JV match. Let's check this one out. With Dale and Jackson. The Piranha Plant versus Sephiroth. Ooh. Right, let's see how this goes. Alright, we've got Piranha Plant with an early stock lead here. That's always good. These are both very spacey characters. I want to make sure the base is right, or else you really can't play in the middle of the system. Oh, yeah. The, uh, looks like that poison gas coming out is not doing that much, though. The twoies are always going to be helpful. see a lot of Piranha Man over here in Lugiana. Very popular characters in the middle of the system. Lugiana. I'm going to force Matt. Guarding the left. As 
super armor on that down beam. Getting the kill with a 3-1 stock lead. 2-1 stock lead. Let's see, can he get the really cool shield break combo? Maybe. They are hard, so... Really are. Jeff Rock has the win, so he's always the back. That Sephiroth up is really simple in this way. Especially with the multi hit. Oh, oh and game. just short. Dale with the absolute beautiful two stock win with Piranha Plant. Outplaying that Sephiroth with Patooies and down bees. There wasn't much you could do without that super armor, could he? No, he really couldn't. Sephiroth, um, he, only, he has super armor too, but only really with his wing. Um, and Piranha playing super armor down bees like, catches a lot of people off guard. So. It's a rough move to combat for sure. Wow. That was a great game, I'd say. Marcus, what would you say about this uh, Piranha Plant Sephiroth matchup? Ooh, I would, most times, I'd give it to Piranha Plant, especially with that downbeat super armor and the poison gas make for a deadly combination to him. With the Patui too, it's really just not fun for Sephiroth. Oh, for sure, for sure. I think Sephiroth has a chance if he can make it, uh, get in and make that space closer. But overall, it's a hard game for Sephiroth to win, for sure. Yeah. Looks like neither teams are starting right now. I think they have picked their stages though, so I think they're just waiting on character selection. Yep, looks like Varsity might get started here in a second. Yeah, ooh, a heavy matchup. Oh, one of my favorite matchups in the game here. King K. Rule and Bowser. David and Connor. David is Bowser, Connor is King K. Rule. I actually played David the other day as King K. Rule when he was Bowser. He is amazing as Bowser. Yeah. Great Bowser for sure. And Bowser is one of the best heavy Bowser users. Um, oh yeah, especially with that tough guy mechanic. Mm -hmm. He's got amazing range on his forwards. Um, neutral B can get a lot of damage. Overall, just a really solid hit. Oh yeah. Ooh, King K. Rufo's projectiles. So really gotta watch out for that. Keep those ground to his advantage. Up B on stage is a very good move for Bowser to use. Oh, for sure. Up B out of here is one of the strongest moves yet. That fire gonna get a lot of tick damage off. Ooh, almost. Tough guy didn't quite come with this. Super armor. Ooh, the double hit by the projectiles. Really something uh, King Kid will strive at is long range combat with his super armor projectiles. Oh yeah, he's a master. Well, he can go in with his super armor, and uh, those projectiles can really, can really be a detriment to someone who's trying not to close the distance. Oh, yeah, that was a really good side beat kill, by the way, by uh, David. Oh, great. Oh, and he got uh, the footstool. Uh, that's okay, though. He's just uh, resetting the stock there. He, he meant to do that, actually. Oh yeah, it was all part of the spam, actually. Yeah. Up be out of shield, man. Yeah, as you know, Bowser, uh, he used his super armor as he goes higher in percentage. Yeah. So he's a lot stronger early. Yep. That fire really taking off a lot of damage that King K. Rule almost killed. Yeah, that's well, one for him. Ooh! Good up smash by Bowser. Or not up smash. Up uh, tilt. Up tilt. My bad. Great move for sure. Bowser just excels at very wide range. Oh yeah, those uh, aerials too. Whoa, all that super armor is absorbing it. Ooh, forward air, one of his best moves coming into play here. Oh, 
I'm trying to get the uh, forward smash off, but the projectiles are really just too much. Oh man. Keeping him in the air for a while there. Ooh. And he's still good. I'm telling you, Bowser and that tough guy mechanic make him a lot heavier than all the heavies. Heaviest heavy in the game. And taking out the King K. Nice down. I say Bowser kind of wins this matchup a lot of the time. Oh, yeah. Especially with the uh, tough guy, the uh, up, the out of shield. Really good aerials, too. And he is surprisingly fast. Um, oh, yeah. His in lag is almost non existent on a lot of his moves. Oh, it's true. And the ones that have it are just insanely powerful. Oh yeah, like the uh, like the forward smash, ridiculously powerful move. And even down B with a shield breaking mechanic is a really nice move. Oh yeah. I assume David will be staying as Bowser because he is a Bowser main. I don't know if Connor will switch off King K. Rule though. A switch might do him a little bit better in the matchup. Um, Bowser struggles against faster combo heavy characters. Oh yeah. So if Connor pockets one of those, maybe this is the time to bring him out. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a good pick I'd say for Bowser, maybe a fox to reflect the fire or a nest to absorb it. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Jigglypuff even does oh, a very oh, good job yeah. against Bowser. Yeah, the, only, the only problem you'd really have is a tough guy mechanic there. That's what really stops Puff from doing many things. But as we've seen, Hungrybox, he uh, he gets around every time. Oh yeah, he sure does. One of the best Jigglypuffs Puffs out there. Oh yeah. Which really proves how good the character is. Um. Really does. He um he probably is the best Puff player, I'd say. Unless there's another play Puff player that I don't know about. <clears throat> Me. <laughs> Decide to switch a character. Um, I think K. Rule definitely has a shot at this matchup. Um, using a lot of his aerials like Nair and uh, Forward Air can, can really put that super armor to use. Oh yeah, I also think he probably has to uh, start grabbing more. I'd say because he was he was just throwing out down smashes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, K. Rule has great ga grab combos. Oh yeah, his grabs are also super powerful too. Oh yeah, and that high percent. Um, down throw into like really anything will kill someone. Oh yeah. All right, it looks like we're switching stages to final destination. That's a good matchup, I'd say, for Bowser anyway. Without the platforms, you can just go right in. Oh yeah. If you get, catch him in a forward air combo, like that's kind of dead. Oh yeah. Especially the up out of shield. There's no much you can do about it now without. Ooh, and he's switching going for a little, little match. match. Wow. I would actually say that this isn't a terrible matchup um, for the little match. That's true. Although, I would say the biggest problem is going to be recovering. Right? With the fire Bowser has. Yeah, recovering against Bowser is going to be a problem, but if you can out Super Armor on stage, you have a chance. Oh, yeah. David, David has played uh, Little Mac Man before. He's done really well against him with Bowser, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, Playing a little match disadvantage. I can see a lot of those up and multi hits. That little match has trouble getting out of. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got the KO punch now. David just has to be weary about that now. Yeah, we'll kill you at anywhere from like 30 to 60. Ooh, getting Probably the KO punch hit away. It's good. It's a great down. down there. Fire coming out, like I said, it's gonna be a big problem for Little Mac. If you can just kind of edge the edge on Little Mac, you have a very, very nice time winning. I uh, would well, see that the up, the up, the up, uh, the up, the out of uh, shield. He didn't do it out of shield this time. He just did it straight up. He actually shielded it this time. It's looking like Philomax having a bit of a problem against the Uppy. Yeah, he sure is. He's got the KO punch now. Oh, missing the KO punch. That's going to be pretty big for David, I'd say. Ooh. 
Ooh, trying to hit the down B counter and misses. He's up there though. Ooh. Um, do you want to it? And oh, actually getting David out of stock. Oh. Wow. Insane. Yeah. Dang, he's really edge guarding him. Although he is at 162%, so he will die to anything oh. that goes out. So he probably have to hit him. Oh man, the super armor Little Mac has and the KO punch now. Missing. Getting the stock off. Will David make the comeback with 87%? And Bowser sure does have a weak with getting that precision. Oh yeah. Oh, and an easy 45 with the fire. Oh, Little Mac hitting through the up beat. That time missing and getting hit by another up B. Yeah, and well a timed up smash. very well timed up snaps. Big up smash for David. That will end it with the David and Connor matchup with David being the 2 0 victor. Wow. Oh, wait, what? That is crazy. I genuinely thought that Little Mac had a better chance against winning. I really thought that Little Mac had a better chance there, but it looked like Bowser actually came out on top. Uh, oh, actually, JV has a match going right now with Piranha playing Sephiroth again. It looks like Sephiroth may have won the last one then. And it looks like Piranha Plant's going to be a stock lead off on Sephiroth. With a good Sephiroth going on an up B. Going to be big damage for Sephiroth. Ooh. Don't get hit by the L. Yeah, he's good. He's good. It looks like my... Uh, it looks like my co-host Nick is back. He actually just won his match. Hola. I won 2-1 against Top Gear Joker. I am back. Very nice. Uh, Joker we, scares me. Oh, good. I made him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know. I, I beat him game one with uh, Luigi. And then he beat me game two with Luigi. Ooh, and a big he, a down B by... Uh, and yeah, and then I switched to Puff and beat him because Jigglypuff is epic. Um, alright. Oh man, Jigglypuff is epic. Jeez, Piranha Plant's kind of oh he's just standing there. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't. Ooh, know. the Patui getting thrown out. Good. We'll separate. And a looks like that Piranha Plant just won. Yeah, it looks Two, like one. That's two to one, and that was a three stop. Beautiful wow. win. Dude, after like those first couple socks, Sephiroth just wasn't having it. He actually just three stocked him. Cannot believe that. Wow. That is gonna take some skill. Against the Sephiroth is Piranha Plant, I'd say that's pretty good. All right, so we're in waiting for the varsity match. It looks like they're picking their stages now. So they should be up and running in uh, about like a minute or so. Um, yeah. All right. All right, it looks like Marcus has got a match he needs to play. Um, I'll commentate for now unless another commentator steps up. Um, but yeah, I'll try to be both shoutcaster and and I'll talk with the. Uh, what's it? I'm sorry. Uh, I will try to shoutcast and also color color cast. Um, Unless there's another one available, but I don't think there is another commentator. Unless you. All right. All right. So, looks like our. Uh,
one moment. I will be right back. I gotta, I gotta go get a drink of water. All right, and we're back live. All right, are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right, we're currently still waiting. Um, as you can see by this uh, age selection screen, they've, they've been here for a while. Um, all right, so we've got Antonio, who is a Kirby main, who is going to be going against Brody. Now Marcus, Marcus is also going to be playing for JB, and he is going to be playing Joker, and he will be going up against old Isaiah, who is a Cloud main. Um, but from the looks of it, it does look like Varsity is going up first, and due to the uh, fact that Varsity takes priority, most of that game is going to be overshadowed. But I'll try to like let you guys know the end results and who won and all that good stuff. Uh, so we have uh, Antonio as a Kirby against Brody, who's trying to play Ganon. Very good matchup for Kirby. Yeah. Uh, Kirby with his combos, like... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty there, good. Like, really but then again, Ganondorf is really good on Wi-Fi and kills with Doria at, like, 30. Yeah, for sure. Um, but, I mean, in all fairness, that move is very slow. So, pretty slow who knows? Move. So with good reaction on... Um, Ganon just doesn't do too well. But how are you going to react nice in the lag? No, I'm kidding. All right. I had some lag in my match earlier. But, uh, yeah, Ganon, Ganon is like one of the worst characters, but when you have Wi-Fi on your side, I feel like Ganon suddenly moves up a couple tiers. But Kirby, Kirby's got like true grab combos that do about 40, 50% and they cannot be escaped out of. I don't know if he knows how to do them or not. Oh, no, I know Antonio. He knows how to do a lot of very good Kirby combos. He likes his uh, down tilt combos, his All grab right. combos. Um, Right, well, that's really good, good to see. And hopefully, you can get the win. If not, as long as they're having fun. Alright. So, they're both currently still selecting. It looks like there's a bit delay, but it does look like JB is selecting characters. Yeah, JB might be going first here. Oh, actually, nope. Varsity's picking stage. Alright, Varsity's about to start. Okay. Yep, here we go. Kind of excited to see how this uh, Ganon fares against the Kirby here. Yeah, because this is, like you said, good matchup for Kirby in the sense of get combo, but Kirby being one of the lightest characters in the game against a high kill power character like Ganon, that's scary. It is very scary, so he's going to have to be careful with this. Yeah. Now, I do think down special is going to be a very good tool because uh, using that as Kirby, he cannot be hit. And if he uses that and baits the Ganon into doing a move with a lot of lag, he might be able to react in time to get a quick move on him. Yeah, but sure. I, I do think that Kirby can take this so, very easily. But you never know. Ganon, Ganon while being a slow character, he, he, he's got the down special. Alright, uh, Ganon rolling the stage, shaking center stage here. Um, looks like Kirby's fishing for a combo. Uh, Look at that. Ah, there it is. Alright, a little jab. Yeah, Kirby's shield not looking that great. One of the scare. Oh my gosh! What a rough shield. Bro. This man just blocked an up or an up an, an up tilt from Ganon. That like the one utility that Ganon up tilt has is having an absurd shield power. I thought it broke in one hit, but I guess he must have hit like a sour spot. Yeah, uh, it breaks hitting forward, but not quite a lot. Yeah. But then again, it does look like Ganon is in the lead by like, quite a decent bit. Because not only is he higher, Ooh. yeah, he's got full stock lead. Nice up. Up there by Ganon. But like, he's in disadvantage against Kirby now. If Kirby can keep the momentum, he gets up the stock easily. 
Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like he threw it away. See, Brett, Brett has good combos, but I think where he struggles at the most is getting the kill. Because he, as you saw from the beginning, he's got great combo potential. It's just getting, like, a good smash attack in to finish the job. That That's the challenging part with Kirby. Yeah, especially with Kirby. He has a couple of... A couple of kills. Oh, like, man, he got that like right when he got out of it. Down there to down B. Uh, I mean, down there to down smash. That's not even mentioning that Ganon's actually a heavyweight, too. So. Oh, yeah, he is, for sure. Alright, but yeah, once again, one thing you cannot deny about Ganondorf is his recovery is really bad. Yeah, it's really terrible. So, uh, there's a really Oh, here game comes us true forward throw combo. There it is. 42% off of one grab, guys. And he's not even playing the lead. Oh my gosh. And yeah, suddenly the match is looking a bit more even. Another thing that Kirby has done that I haven't really seen him go for is uh, against Ganondorf, since he has a pro recovery, he can do like a neutral B off stage, suck him into his mouth, and then drop him out and put school in. And it'll instant kill him at 100%. Yeah, for sure. That's a hard technique to get a Ganon on the edge right now. Nah, uh, Ganon's got a terrible recovery, though. If you get the footstool... Well, they, you know, whatever. Alright. So, Ganondorf... Alright, Kirby misses the tech. I definitely wouldn't have gotten that. There's so many multi-hits in there. How the heck are you supposed to attack it? Alright. Oh, nice trip. That could have been a forward smash, but in the RNG, it wasn't ready. Ganondorf a lot of risky up there. Yeah, Ganondorf is already reaching, like, high range. Kirby's at 70. I had my money on Kirby, but I'm starting to tilt more towards the Ganon at this point. That was a good grab cancel out of his uh, down there. Yeah, this is this is terrifying. Oh, Alright, that's, nice a, that's a really good trade, though. Beautiful. Oh boy, even the crowd is cheering for Ganon and all oh, the F tilt. The big old kick. Alright. Alright, so it looks like. Yeah, it looks like um, Brody took that first win against Antonio. I'm curious to see, because I know Antonio is a pretty hard Kirby main, but I do wonder if he's going to counter pick, because things are not looking too good with the Kirby pick. Uh, now I'm going to swap over to JV, because it looks like they're significantly closer to being ready to start a match, as they still have the stage strike and counter pick and all that, which typically takes a while, because we have to... We have one person going through the Discord of all three of the teams that are playing, so it takes a while. So we'll swap over here. Um, actually, it looks like Varshi's picking the stage right now. No, they're just on the screen right now. Um, um, I'm pretty sure they're picking... Yeah, they're on Battlefield. We got Joker versus Cloud. Now, they, this is an interesting matchup. One of them is a really, really good DLC from uh, Smash Bros. 3DS, and the other one is a really good DLC from this game. I, it, and they're both still really good characters. Uh, Cloud's got an absurd range um, and a lot of power. Yeah, for sure. As a Cloud main, uh, he can do a lot. He's very fast, has some nice uh, combos. Alright, alright. I lied. We won't have time because Varsity is already up and going. And it does look like he's going for the counter pick, going with the top tier hero, Joker. Yeah, Joker is a very good pick against the Ganondorf. He's a good pick about against almost everyone. He's a really good character. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, one of the best in the game. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like saying characters are broken, but he's good. Oh no, that's crazy. Right up there with Pikachu. Yeah, best. one. Like he's already, he's already good. But the thing is, this Ganon plays unreasonably aggressive. So if he can get a good counter on the Ganondorf, because Ganondorf does like to approach a lot with Wizard's foot, and if he uses his counter on any of these aggressive moves, mm, he'll take it. Ganon's fastball into a, into a miss stage. Yeah. So, so far it looks like the pit's already going better. 
I mean, Joker's just a better character. I wouldn't be surprised if they lose, they'll switch their character as well. Maybe they'll go Joker or Pyra, Mithra. Those are the two most common ones I see when yeah. someone has to pick a secondary. Either Pyra, Mithra, or Joker. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of uh, Piranha Plants I think, too. Oh my god. Yeah, Downward's done. Okay. Yeah, Downward's Gun is so good against Ganon because it takes jumps away. And, but, it looks like Ganondorf is actually going to be the one taking, like, taking that stock. Oh, nice up though. I always love the Joker up combos. Oh, they're insane. He, he may be good, he may be good with Kirby, but he's got a Joker as well. Um, and even without our send, he's just not getting it. Because typically, a lot of the time when you're playing Joker, you want to like sit back more without our son and do counter. But he's he's not relying on that. He's going in with the character even without it. Yeah, he is dominating. Oh no! Oh, sacrificing the stock. Oh god, he had a 132% lead. Not down the toilet. Toilet. That is unfortunate. Like Ganon does, though. That that was that was a smart play by the Ganon in, in his own right though. He, he had a huge, like, if he took that one stock against the Ganon, it would have been over for him, most likely. But now it's even game again. Well, it would be even, but Joker's got that now. He's awakened his inner demon. You will die now. Yeah. The only way to get rid of it faster is to deal damage. But how the heck are you? Oh, never mind. I lied. He knows how to go in. This Ganondorf isn't bad. Like, he's playing. Oh. Yeah, pretty good game though for the most part though. But yeah, playing this well with the loads here. But yeah, good job to Joker and we're going to game three. And now we're swapping over to JV where we got Wolf versus Cloud. Alright. So it looks like Marcus to Joker. Wait no, he switched from Joker to uh, Wolf. Yeah, to Wolf. Interesting. I didn't think he was the wolf. I, I didn't even know he played wolf. I kind of like the matchup for Cloud here. Um, a lot of range against the wolf as well as the the edge guard to recover. It's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, it is unfortunate that's the opponent though. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 I mean, yeah, wolf is still winning though. Yeah. Cloud, Cloud is good, but he's also bad because he recovers. But now he's got limits, so he can recover. Oh yeah, recovery is very easy to do things. So, uh, of course, we'll see get those off. He has a very nice game. Ooh, that was a nice limit from him. Really taking advantage, advance. Uh, oh my God, he's really taking advantage of the size difference between two characters' attacks. Because really, Wolf's only thing that he can do here is laser from a far range, which yeah, it does some damage, but it won't kill. But yeah, it won't. And that's all he needs right now. But there it is. I didn't even need the down smash. This one for the up smash. Alright, and ooh, this is okay. Okay. Yeah, see this. Oh, alright, sweet spot side. Yeah, good. And yeah, Cloud. You just gotta watch out for the up smash because that is Cloud's one of his key kills. Oh yeah, it comes out. So Alright, and he's got the limit too. I don't know. He's probably gonna try to save it, but he might just oh ah, waste the limit. Yep. I remember one day I woke up, it was like, uh, well, it was like winter, I, I don't remember the exact time, I woke up and I saw a recommended YouTube video, and it turns out Cloud has a true confirmation of that move now. Oh yeah, it sure does, after the latest update, yeah. you can up tilt into a uh, jump and uh, down. And yeah, and it kills a 50, which yeah, is, uh, very cool. Yeah, and, oh god, he's got it again. He's got the juice, oh, never mind, he lost it. Yeah, um, being hit. Without a limit, like if you're move using your limit and get to it, it's automatically over there. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard. You want to save it for a nice time. Alright, oh, yeah, he's Wolf is. I'm seeing a similar pattern here with the, with the Kirby. Um, it does look like we're gonna have to go back to Varsity. Good job, 
God, I can't. Good job. Varsity. Um. Alright. Uh, game with uh, Joker V. Alright. So it looks like right now, they're both insanely even. This is, uh. This is game three. This is high stakes. Um. Uh, but that's an early kill. Now, this is scary. This is. Now, it may look very, very. Like, it wouldn't be scary for Joker because he's at such high percent. But first of all, he's rage with Ganondorf. Second of all, if he hits him with one side, be off stage. He's got a full side. But no, he doesn't get it. up till by Joker. But god, that, that is a ton of damage from him. Saving his arc and then he's gone. Yeah, just a couple of moves with our side and we'll bring it back to you. him for um casting it looks like our other oh you're back all right all right marcus is back we've got the original crew back for the commentation everything is good we got no more games to play no more swapping out i don't think uh so just to get you caught up marcus joker against ganon i um, don't get the wolf stuff i played wolf too yeah i saw that i was a bit curious about Picking a wolf. Oh, I, I've been picking up wolf recently. I won though. Almost lost. Come back. Wait, I thought. We were watching you the whole game though. Really? Wait, did you. Did you win? I did win. 2 0. Jeez, man. Wait, who were, who were you playing against? Uh, I was playing against. Uh, oh, a cloud. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually know why I picked wolf. At the end, maybe just for style points. And sometimes you just gotta. Just sometimes, sometimes you just gotta flex it and say, "Hey, I have more than one." Oh yeah. Speaking of Joker, he's just d demolished again, and that's an up. That's an up smash to dead. Wow. I only saw the last part of that game, but from what I can tell, with Ganon and a Joker both being at one stock, it must have been pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I was rooting for both. Really? I mean, even though Joker's on our team, I'm gonna be honest. Ganon, I, I, I was still in for Ganon because he's just such a bad character and he almost won. I I think that Ganon could still like go home today and be like, hey, I almost beat a Joker. They're such a good character. I'm hyped. I'm amazing. Ganon is extremely hyped. Yes, and also extremely bad. All right. So we got Christian, who is playing Ooh. Little Mac on JV. He is one of the best Little Macs I have ever seen put Mac. Yeah, you can could, you could tell he's a good Little Mac. It's a Mac Ditto. It is? Oh, God. Yeah, Christian it's a Mac Ditto. Christian and Xavier, both playing All Little right. Mac. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, we're about to see a lot of smash attacks, folks. Uh, hmm. This will be amazing. All right, and that was JV. For Varsity, we have Brandon playing Pokemon Trainer versus Cole. Ooh. We didn't get who they're playing for some reason, but they're playing someone. Oh man, I I am very interested in this um, little Mac ditto, but I'm I'm very afraid that we're not gonna get to watch it because varsity. Ah, uh, oh well. I wonder. If, all right, so we got Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer is always fun to watch. Let's go actually with all three of the Pokemon. Yeah, this. Uh, okay. Alright, so, 
Yeah, looks like there is some technical difficulties. Um, Varsity just had to go to home screen for whatever reason. Well, looks like something's going on, but... I, I, I think uh, Christian's going to win this match. I was playing, uh, before we even started this, I was playing Christian in some training. I was Joker, he was Mac. He destroyed me. Then I switched to Wolf. He destroyed me. Then I switched back to Joker, and I didn't win a single time. That's what I'm saying here. Alright, well anyways, here comes the amazing Little Mac Ditto. I don't know Ooh. how much of this we're going to get to see, but, but every get, second counts. At least you get a peek of it. It's going to be yeah, amazing. We, we get to watch this. Probably the most hype one yes, we're going to get today. Battle of the Sea Stick. Three, here we go. Alright. Well, they both start with Smash Attacks. Oh, no. no. They're not. Oh, nope, they're, never mind. Christian started with the Smash Attack. Good. Oh, he got, yep, the, he got they, the hit, though. So. Here they come. Right. Ooh, good down tilt to uh, a side smash. Yeah, side smash with the downward angle does up to 40%, which is insane. Yeah, that does such big damage and great shield. You cannot get shield broken if you snap or else you can... They both got KO punch. Ooh, They're both probably just waiting. Oh, he made that. Wow. I was going to oh. say the big problem with Mac oh, the is other team recovery. Lifted. They both whiffed they it. Both it. All right, he, but I that he... was very high. All right. Beautiful recovery. All right. Well, I was going to say whoever gets oh, off stage my. first oh, is going to win. Is, this is high gear gameplay right here. Ooh, Christian's down a stock, but he can still come back. Only I remember Little Mac doing this guy. It sucks. It's just a battle of who can smash attack and roll faster. If you don't smash attack and roll fast enough, you get smash attack. Ooh, yeah, there it is. big up smash by Christian. You know, they gotta actually do the Little Mac shuffle first, actually. Yeah, yeah. Little Mac's got like one of the best rounded pools in the game. It's so fast, it goes in the distance, and it's such an important tool because he utilizes his smash attack so much. It oh, yeah. does look like the opponent's been using, um, hasn't been really utilizing the counters that much, which is kind of surprising as they're both just running at each other. Yeah, it looks like Christian actually has his KO punch right now. Yeah, MH, Ooh, MH takes awesome. it away, and MH is on the front of getting it, but nope. But good, utilizing Dalby, as we were just saying, Christian just utilized it and got the kill off. Yeah. Oh, and man, the super is, armor got him. Wow. Yeah, this is a very even match. I genuinely don't know. What to do this. That's true. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I okay. Christian's getting edge guarded. Uh, I, I, oh God, I want to root for Christian so badly, but this is this is looking. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh man, easy okay. forty nine percent. Oh God, but he's got two hits. He's, wow. All right. Christian has got KO Punch. Oh. And it looks like Christian will not win the first game, but that's only one game. And it yep, looks and like it we're looks actually like going to have to switch back to Varsity. Oh, Let's see. Pokemon Trainer versus Piranha Plant. Uh, Piranha Plant is, in my opinion, an off-brand Pokemon. Back. My yeah. Mind. Oh, you're right. You could add him to Pokemon. I don't care. Oh, he's got, he's got to switch his Charizard. Water type isn't good against uh, Grass type. Yeah, this doesn't work. I mean, I guess he is good. Wait, wait. This is Varsity. Oh. Oh, I've played against this guy. This guy's, uh... This guy's Squirtle is kind of nuts, but I don't know if this Squirtle's as nuts when he's online. I also played against this guy in the last few seconds. But we've got Brandon playing Pokemon Trainer and Cole playing Piranha Plant. I wonder how this is going to go. I oh, the Patui already getting an early stock lead. Wow. These are not looking great. That big, big fat down special is going to just. Oh, yeah. You know the uh, you know the thing with Pokemon Trainer is since he's a plant, he, since, since he's a plant, uh, Squirtle I think actually takes a little bit more damage from him, doesn't he? Because like I think they actually had a typing in this game. Pokemon. I don't think they did. Listen, I was watching Little Z last night. I don't, I don't know. That's fine. No promoting. My, this our is our two viewers are going to go to their channel now. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored by Little Z. Oh my god. But in all honesty, Brett has... Oh man, I didn't even see what killed him. Oh, I didn't see it either. I think it was a down... I think it was a down uh, air by... Like, uh, I just thought I would assume. Yeah, either down air or up air. Because they're both really good. Oh my god. Oh, and the down B with the super armor really throwing uh, Brandon through a loop right there. Yeah. The down B is really good. And he's got the Charizard. Oh! oh no tech Tim. Didn't tech it. Wow. Oh, that's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Alright. Suddenly things are looking much better. Ivysaur. It wasn't looking too great at the beginning, oh, yeah. but the Ivysaur pick has really been going well. 
Oh yeah, I think with the uh, all the I'm... all the spores he's got, his, uh, stun spore and. Yeah, I am a bit curious if he's ever gonna switch to Charizard. Though. He, uh, you switch to Charizard. Oh, there Charizard. it is. Oh, oh. okay. I, I can see why he didn't change to Charizard. No, nah, he he was at, he went to Charizard when he got the tech kill on. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted to see if that type of effectiveness actually was a little bit better. Oh, a nice whip. Yeah, I be sore when it comes to getting the kills, so that is his go-to. Oh, yeah. Just go-to in general. I feel oh, like especially, Charizard... Especially that fastball with the uh, up, up air. Yeah. Um, I think, it, yeah, Ivysaur's his go-to, then Squirtle, and then Charizard's kind of just to recover, or maybe get a cheeky kill. Oh, man. Alright, the other, the other, the next little Mac fight starting, and I want to click so badly, but we gotta watch this first. Alright, Charizard time, let's see what's gonna happen. And no! the Patui and Charizard. Did not want to see that, and like that with the Patui kill. But we do now get to switch back over to the double mat kill, and we're on ring. Wow, this isn't even a real stage that we can select, but I guess we did it anyway. They, oh, they they made an agreement to pick FD version of this stage. Very nice. And Christian Wait. losing a stock already. I cannot believe my eyes. But uh, they're pretty even. Oh, Christian getting off with KO punch, though. So he could make the comeback with a nice yeah, KO. One down, so KO is out, but one hit is KO. Oh, there goes the KO. He just got knocked out. Oh, and the down B. Again. That did like 40 rounds. Again, back to what you were saying with this uh, other guy, not oh, Xavier. That, not that KO punch just got hit by wrong. The side smash going to KO Christian. Can he make the comeback? Yeah, he he's needs a two stock lead. Wants to get and it's back to 1-1-0% one, one, both sides. These games have been very even. I think it's probably going to come down to whoever gets KO punch. Unless they get it. Or unless one of them just gets off stage. Oh, the freaking super armor from his age. Oh my god. Oh man. The super armor. They both, they both have KO punch. Oh! No! And Christian loses, Yay! sadly, by a KO punch. Uh, good try by Christian. That was crazy. That was a very While good KO match. KO punch is strong. It's got so much lag, and it just gave that free opportunity. But I don't blame him. If he hit that, it would have been game it over. It really would have. Again, Christian still one of the best little Mac players I've ever seen. Oh, for sure. That was a very good game, I'd say. Yeah, very entertaining to watch. And now, looks awkward like small talk. Looks like Varsity is going to go right. back to picking a stage. So... I, I still don't know what stage they're picking. I don't. God, I don't even remember what characters they're playing. Except for the sheep. All right, they're going PS2, and if they pick the stage, and that means they are ready to battle. It looks like they're staying Hold Pokemon door. Trainer. Ed, they're gonna stay on PS2. All right, and I, if I could assume properly, CCHS. Yep, still going Chronoplay. Okay. So here's the deal. I think that Piranha Plant is going to win. But then again, he's got home field. Okay. All right. Things are already looking really bad for him. I looked away for like one second. All right. The Patui and Squirtle. Ooh, Squirtle actually doing good damage there. Almost not dishing him off, but no. Squirtle's actually at an 89%. That's not what we like to see here. Although, yeah, I it, will say a Prana Plant is playing exceptional right now. Yeah, he's really utilizing the spacing very well. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, but here ooh. comes the combos I'm talking about. Oh, Dude, man. His Squirtle combos are very good. Yeah. We can't like, we Squirtle that. combos, we got Spiky Ball. Well, who's the, who needs Spiky Ball when you have Vine Whip? Who knows? This, this could still be anyone's game, but yeah, Piranha Plant's definitely taking an early lead here. Alright, yeah, this is the battle of the plants. This is the scene better. Alright, let's see this. Ooh. Alright. Man, he, he tried that forward smash. He tried it down. Ooh, and the amazing spike. 
by the down air by Brandon. Amazing player, I'd say, as Pokemon trainer. Nerf the hitbox. Back. Uh, All right. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. They can't nerf anymore. Final patch is out. We gotta live with the meta, guys. It's it's what it, it is what it is. It is what it, it is. What it is. That's it. Oh, Charizard just barely. I, I learned like a 300% true combo in training mode, and um, they can't nerf it and or patch it because if the final patch is out. But we're just gonna have to live with it. Who's the boy? Kazuya. That's hilarious. Kazuya's got so many. Game with um, obviously uh, his. Number two, he's really screwing with Brandon right now. Yeah. Oh man, I, I looked away for a little bit. Yeah, these are. Oh, oh no! no! The side beat. I can already see. Oh, oh what? What is what? he doing? What is this? Okay, that was weird. I thought he would have gone for the guaranteed kill. I thought he would have side beat to get a ton of damage. Maybe he tried to side beat, but he needs to be. Maybe. Yeah, unfortunate, but that's good for Brandon. He's still in it. Yep. Oh wow, he, he got the stop off. He could make the big comeback right now, which he did in the last match. Do it with Charizard, please. I need to see some Charizard gameplay. So cool. I want to see a Flare Blitz under. I want to see a back throw into Flare Blitz. That would be so cool. It's. I really like that because if you miss it, you just die. That's also why I play Jigglypuff so I can do it. All right, uh, Brandon needs to win this to Brandon. get into overtime match point. I don't know why I said I was thinking of Siege. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. This no, and he no. missed the up B. That's going to have Piranha Plant winning it. I Two. told him to play Charizard. Charizard's good. <laughs> All right. We have back-to-back -back losses here, sadly. But right, we but actually do have a JV match going on right now. Yeah, we got a really, really cool-looking Brawler. Matt playing um, V Brawler and Caleb playing King K. I just realized they're both King K. Rule. Look. Oh wow. He, he's got the. They're long lost. They're long lost brothers. Yeah, one of them has evolved significantly more than the other, though. One of um, them is out here with like unique belly armor, super armor. This guy's got shock damage. balls. Yeah, and then this guy just has black balls. That that's it. Alright, but yeah. Um, all right, Ooh, gonna hit the side B. That's gonna do some big damage, but it's not gonna have very much knockback. Yeah, I don't know why he's going for the side Bs or the shot butts. They do not kill at all, and that's true. K Rule can just reflect the shot butts. The up out of shield gonna take it. It looks like K is actually gonna actually use a lot more down as we can already see, trying yeah. to reflect the shot foot. Yeah, and unfortunately, since this guy is clearly the inferior version, I, I just realized they both have the uh, black balls too. I. No, I, I, I mean like, no, literally, they both have like the black cannonball. Uh, yeah. They, 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 they. The black cannonball. I'm sorry. Both K rules actually going at it right now, <laughs> going right in. Trying to get some damage off. K rule, K rules side smash actually being very, very short range. I just learned that recently when I was trying to Yeah, play. never use side smash. I always use down smash. It's just the side smash would be better. Or up smash. Uh, it was just... Oh, yeah, down air and up, landing down air and uh, up smash. I uh, saw that in the little Z video. Not sponsored. Okay. Um, oh my goodness, these, these shop butts are messing him up pretty bad, but now he's just walking up and reflecting them. I think he just realized that he could just keep, he's just slowly walking up to him. He hasn't even been sprinting. Oh man, yeah. will we see a comeback by me, Brawler? Hopefully not. I don't, I, 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 I don't like this me Brawler's moveset. He's gonna fuck oh, die! And the down tilt. Yeah. Everyone knows. Best best move set for me, Brawler. Um flaming like the flaming kick side special. Uh up B should be the counter. Um, Don't forget counter. Definitely use counter. No, the counter is garbage. Use the head on assault. You could kill anyone at zero. Uh, I'm, I'm, I always use counter. I don't like counters. I'm God. I I love going like in on people and like playing really aggressive. Counter's just like but yeah, it is really good. Uh, if Ganondorf hits a neutral special and you counter it with him, it kills at zero. Really? Yeah, it does. It, it's, wow. it multiplies the knockback of any move by it twice of itself. So things like Ganondorf's punch and some other stuff, it, it kills unreasonably early. 
That is crazy. Alright. So it looks like we're going on over to JD if I had to guess. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not switching to JD. We're switching the bars today. Looks like I don't know if that's I don't know if that's Smashville or uh, uh, I I think that's Smashville. I'm pretty sure it could be the other one, but I don't know the name of it. I, so I we're, just, we're they, just gonna say Smashville. If we're wrong, look, we're wrong. They, yeah, they they both look the same. Okay. All right. So it's either Smashville or Town and City. I'm just gonna say Smashville. I hope it's Smashville. Town and City. I don't like Town and City, yeah. even though that was the map that I I won the game on. Wow. I purposefully picked it because the other guy picked Joker, and Joker sucks on Town and City. That that's why I banned Town and City on my first match. I actually banned Town and City and. Uh, yeah, and not only is it bad for Joker, but it's also very good for Jigglypuff. That is true. You just fly around. It looks like we're gonna have Brett. Finally, the name's matching up. We're going to have Brett playing Roy against Jonathan, who's playing Banjo. Yep. Alright, looks like the identity theft is over. It looks like this game's starting to Ooh, so it looks like a JV match to... starting Hey, Luigi! That's my main. Looks like, Let's go. It looks like uh, Caleb is going to switch to Luigi. Yeah, Caleb's going to switch to Luigi, if and I Matt is going to switch to if Violet. I if I recall correctly, Caleb won last match, too, by quite a staggering amount. He's still switching characters, just his style. That's true. That's actually what I did. But then again, he might also be trying to counterpick his game. Maybe. Violet is really good against K Rule because K Rule is, uh, no offense, kind of sad. That's true. Just like me. Nice. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to I wanna see a 0 to death combo. If I don't see a 0 to death combo, yeah, I want to see down throw, fastball, mirror, jump, down air, fastball, up air, up D. I want to see that right now, Luigi. If you don't do it, I will be very disappointed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I'm like a parent with high expectations. I shouldn't be. A <laughs> parent with high expectations. Yes. Oh, well, well uh, good job, Luigi. Right. I wish you the best of luck. Now we get to watch the varsity match. Again, Brett playing Roy and Jonathan playing Banjo. All right. Here, here's something funny. I, I've had a history against banjos, so whenever I fight a banjo online, um, I, I power off my switch, and that's it. <laughs> uh, I, I can literally say I've done the same. I hate banjos so much. I really hope Brett wouldn't say that. No, no offense to the other school. This isn't even school based anymore. I just this don't is like this it. is just a deep deep hatred for something in game. It's point. really unfortunate. Banjo is like one of my most wanted characters too, and they gave him such an annoying moveset. Yeah. He's still got five Wonder Wings too. Yeah. Ooh, what? look at these! Oh, the up airs really doing a lot of damage to him. The yeah. Wonder Wing getting thrown out immediately. You know what, like, the perfect nerf for Wonder Wing would have been? What? Making it so if you use it, like, on the ground, instead of it stopping at the edge, it goes off stage. That because, would be a good nerf. Yeah, because if you use it on the ground, it just stays on the edge, so it's so unreasonably good for two friends. That's true. It looks like he's been using it more for recovery purposes. Which is respectable. Oh, oh well... Um, no, he's still living. Oh, no, no he's, he's not. not. Uh... It Not, looks like he yeah. just SD'd off the map by using Wondering. Speaking of Wondering, it is annoying. Please stop using it. Oh, oh my gosh. Looks wow. like Roy's really going in. Yeah, I'm sorry for the, little, the poor commentary. I'm just so focused on this right now. All right. All right, God, I actually wonder if you could counter as Wonder Wing. I don't think you can counter a Wonder Wing also because it goes through you, I but think, you won't take damage. Yeah, you could counter it, but it's not going to do anything. You might be able to counter it with your ninja, though, with his um, backwards input. You might be able to do it with your ninja. Or Incineroar, obviously, because that's just how his counter works. That's true. Especially with the revenge with him. Um, although, he is... Hard to play as. Looks like Banjo is almost an SD. Wow, I really thought it was gonna happen. And he's gonna do it anyway. Alright. 
So, Banjo at one stock. Brett is still at three full stocks. Let's see what happens. Recovering on the stage now. Roy's ground game, though, I think actually outmatches Banjo's. Depends on if he has Wonder Wing or not. That's true, but with Roy's counter, I think he just outmatched them. And, and I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Roy's got Especially with the, the really good sweet spot on the, on the edge, on the like start of his sword instead of the edge, so he doesn't have to tip. Yeah, especially with his uh, jab, because it sets up so well for combos. Oh, yeah. I want to see Roy go all the way and carry him all the way to the side of the map and then up the end of the side. I would love that. But this is tournament. They're not going to do that. That's true. And it looks like Brett is actually going to get the KO with a forward smash. Good job on Brett's side. I still don't like Banjo. Back to JV. I think that Vilas may have won the last match. I think it's... This I think it's 1-1. One, one. Let's see what happens. Luigi, I was like watching it on the little screen. Obviously, viewers didn't see it, but Luigi had an insanely good lead. Ooh, and no. Byleth going to make the comeback and win with a glorious no. up smack. What a great game by both of them. I was watching on the little screen we have here. I say that was probably one of the best games we had today. Very close game. Uh, Luigi, the Luigi player taking the first half with King K. Rule. Then the second half, uh, we had Matt with uh, Bylift actually taking it back. Very good job, both uh, players, I'd say. But ultimately, Matt came out as the winner. All right. All right. I'm gonna swap back over to Varsity. Looks like they're selecting. Oh god. Whoa. Oh no, it's a top tier. Nair spamming. I love it. I, I'll watch them make a banjo suffer any day. Of the week. I, Absolutely, I if he stays banjo, that is. I don't care if Palatino goes against my morals. They get to nair spam them to fifty. That was smash, I will we were right. watch it. I just like to clarify, we were right in the smash bro. Yes, but yeah, um, I, I've got a thing about watching banjo suffer. Um, the only other character I like seeing suffer is probably Sora. Oh, absolutely. No, nothing nothing about the character. I like him in the games and everything. It's just his moveset. It, it's unfortunate. Sora and Banjo were two of the most wanted characters in Smash, and they both got obnoxious movesets. Oh, yeah. Looks like he needs to start. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Anyways, we got Bowser. Wait, they switched to Bowser? Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Not, wait, I just realized this means they can nair spam him even more. That's true, but I would say maybe he could get out with the... At the off chance he does, it will probably be Bowser because of the uh, stuff I mechanic. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that only works on grounded moves. Well, maybe. I think. Mainly on jab. Right. Oh, Ooh, that counter. was a smart counter. If he shielded that, he's gone. Wouldn't it be so funny if he did a down special near ledge and then he did a forward smash and with the wind box and pushed him off stage? That would be hilarious. But there are a lot of explosive flames being thrown out. Bowser's not even going to give him the chance to teleport back. Oh. The up airs are really screwing with Bowser right now. Maybe we, maybe we get to see a Nair chain? Oh. These two items. Yeah, can't though. really chain him now. That's true. Ooh, the Ooh. Kill in the fair, but Bowser is too good. And an up smash for the kill. Beautiful. Yeah, hitbox, though. Ooh. Bowser with the side air. Oh, here comes the Nair. The Nair chance. The Nair. The Nair. Oh. oh. He had him for a good three Nairs. Let's we'll just keep a Nair counter every time he Nairs. I wish that we could edit our own little counter on here, and then if we push a button, it goes up one. Nice. And then we could have a Nair counter and see how many <laughs> Nairs policy Nair uses. All right, what was that? That's four. Count them with me. So we got four Nairs so far. If you want, I'll count explosive flames and count Nair. Alright. Alright, so far I've got four, five, six. Oh, just walking up to disrespect. Oh, back here for the kill. Amazing. With the three stock lead right now, 150%. Can he keep this? I don't know. God, he's platform cancer teleporting. He's just body. Seven. Oh, he footstooled his head. Wow. No. Oh. Five, six, seven. There it is. There's the Nairs. Eight, 
Nine. Oh my god, so many nares. He's at 50. Oh, he tried. Oh, oh man, that's nice. not gonna kill. Wow. 10. <laughs> 11. Oh my 12. god, that spot on is so good. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of that's a lot of nares, I'd say. Yeah, I, I think it, I think at this point he's just doing it to make him mad. I, I'm not even. Yeah, he's just doing it to make him mad. I can tell. I can tell when it's genuinely a strategy, or if he's just trying to make them. Mad. No one uses Nair this much. Seventeen. I do. I don't. I don't. I don't play uh, Palutena. Period. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Gonna still be alive. Wow. Spot dodge. Warp right back on the stage. Bowser still struggling to even try to get a hit off him. 20. These air dodges. 21. Dodges have been so good. 22. We have Palutena running around. Bowser cannot catch him. Insane. Oh my gosh. This is... There, it, it's... A, oh, he finally caught Palutena. It's a total of 25 nares. 26 there. Dude, I, I really did want to get a chance to see uh, JD. I don't know if we're going to have the chance with all these nares, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I, it looks like he's just trying to spend as much time possible nairing just to make this guy mad and question his entire existence because he plays Banjo, which I do not blame him. Probably. I mean, yeah, he, he did switch off of Banjo, but he's still a Banjo player, so I still dislike him. There's been him. 30 stocks in this. There's, there's been 30 nares in this one stock alone from Bowser. All yeah, of those it, hits have been nares. And it's doing else. like no damage now. It's only doing nine damage per nair. Well That's true. I feel like he's just playing it out at this point. Oh, is and that he it? kills. No, no. it's, so it's close. not going to kill. It's okay. just. Is he going to go for. This is, it, it's been 35 nares. <laughs> 36 <laughs> nares is the amount second. needed to kill the bouncer. Wow. I cannot believe that. We're actually going to switch right now back over to the JV match going on. Oh, I guess that wasn't the last match with the, that they played. Uh, King K. Rool actually now going to take the win. It was not a win for Matt. Oh my God, that was crazy. I did not see that. It looks like... No way! Let's go, King! Looks like the K is actually going to take the victory. Yep. That was an error on my part. Got, got the victory, Royale. Um, unfortunately, they're on the opposing um, side, which is kind of sad. But, That's true, but still, still, we cannot be biased. We're That's not true. allowed to do that. Unless it's a Banjo or a Sora. But Varsity did take the win, which was also good. Uh, it looks like both, both teams aren't doing anything right now. So we're just going to wait until next match. All right. You keep them occupied. I got to get a drink. Uh, well, I don't really know what to do here because there's no commentation, but I mean, I was going to rant on how I hate Banjo and Kazooie just so much in this game. Or, uh, I don't know if anyone's heard, but Zero's back. All the charges he had were false and got dropped, so he's back in making YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, he's back. I don't think, I don't know if he, I don't think he's back in this, I don't think the Smash movie is accepting him still, but all the charges were dropped. All the charges were false, and he's taking legal action, suing the person accused that accused him. So, yeah. It appears Nick's back, and I can stop going on a rant on how Zero's back. Oh wait, you're talking about Zero? Yeah, how like all his uh, charges were false. Well, yeah, that person's a piece of garbage. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, people stoop very low. But, yeah. yeah. Speaking of zero, that uh, that game with uh, Piranha Plant and Pokemon Trainer, you see that one kid prodigy. Speaking of zero, Banjo has zero IQ. That's true. But the one, the what that this one kid prodigy that Zero took on in his esports team, he was a uh, Pokemon Trainer player. He was absolutely insane. His name was not a lie at all. It really was. He was absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, one of the best players I've actually ever seen, and I think he was only like 13 or 12 between the ages of 13 and 12. Oh, you're talking about that guy who played in tournament. I yeah. Yeah, 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 the 
Pokemon trainer player that somehow won a tournament. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. Anyways, uh, just give me like 10 seconds. All right, so it looks like we're just gonna be watching JV now because Varsity is finished and it looks like our Varsity just won with the other school only having two Varsity wins and us having the rest Body. of the matches. I don't, I, I believe JV is gonna win because we already have, I think, four wins in there to their two, maybe? Oh, that means even if they win the next two, it's, wait, hold on. It could either end in a tie. Wait, wait, hold on. I have a question. So, technically, JV team, our JV team won, right? Alright, so yeah, it turns out they were starting with the lowest point first, so actually, um, JV has not won yet, but we're on a good track too, and I think if we just win one of these games, we should be set. Very true. Uh, Alright, so let's see how stuff is going. One second. All right, I have come with some slightly not great news. Um, we're losing. That is not good. So I think that means that our JV team has actually only won twice. That being Dale and me. So we're in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, and in order for us to win this, I think, I don't know if we'll win if the first person wins and the second loses. But I'm pretty sure both of them need to win in order for us to win. Because I think the point value goes up one for each person down the roster. It does. If both of these guys win, I think that means we take it. Because yeah. this next one, I think is going to be worth five, I believe, and then six. Yeah, so if we lose a single one, we lost. That's true. Since we're down by two points, and these are only a one-point difference, because mathematics... Um, that, that makes... Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, we, we need to win both of these. Yeah, we gotta win both of these matches to be in the lead. Yep, so best of luck to our competitors. Uh, no pressure. And have fun. Alright, and... I, I yeah. believe this guy's gonna play... I believe he's a King K. Rule man. Yeah, I could Caleb, be wrong. Yeah, Caleb names K. Rule. He, so Caleb's gonna play K. Rule. I, I think he's sometimes... No, yeah, yeah, he's playing K. Rule. He's going against a me brawler. All right. Is this the second Min Brawler? Oh, a Min. Oh, a Min Min. Okay, that's it's gonna worse. be K. That's, Rool okay, versus that, Min that, Min. That's much worse. That is much worse. That is not a good matchup for K. Rool. Yeah. Say. How do you count? I mean, actually, yeah, he has a counter. He has. Oh, he has projectiles actually. Yeah. He Min, has Min, a, Min Min's also light, I believe, right? But Min Min has a reflector. She does. Her up smash is reflector. I did not know that. Smash wow. Brothers is a joke. Thanks, Matsuyo Sakurai. We need, yeah, she needed that. She needed that. Take away the one counter. Yeah. Uh, how do you deal with a long-range character? Even longer range. Projectiles. Nah, here's a reflector. Yup. Apparently. Because that's how it's supposed to do. I think it'll help Caleb, her out. Yeah, Caleb is going to be playing K. Rule, and Isaiah is going to be playing Min Min. I, I genuinely hope K. Rule wins. I just like Min Min. I play against her a lot online, and she is very boring. Me too. I've seen Caleb hit before. He is a very exceptional K. Rule. I think he's as I, I think he's got this in the bag. He's a good K. Rule player, and he's always got the uh, blunderbuss that he can do. That's true. Now, remember, we need to win this in order to stay in the game. Alright. I told you it was done. I want to do I do too. I do. Alright. Um, wait, what even happened? Freeman died. No, oh, wait, Caleb. no, Caleb died. Oh my god. Wait, what right. happened? Oh no. Min Min being Min Min, I guess. Min Min's too good, please nerf. Why can she use both hands at the same time? 
Mashiguro, please come back and We have the blunderbuss being out in you. Will, will maybe, he hit him off stage? Maybe if I reveal maybe if I reveal the new Kazuya infinite to the public, they'll be forced to make another patch note and then they can nerf Min Min. That's the only way. Because I don't think I could come up with any other infinite. So that's why. Get a blag there. I yeah. wonder if he'll hit him. Ooh. Ooh, and oh, and the down smash is gonna take flop. out Min Min. Now it's 2 2. He has a six, he has 60%, 75, but is K so he can easily take this back. I want to watch Ooh. this Min Min lose. Pretty even right now, actually. Ooh. Oh, that's not a good trade for K Roll. His crown is dead. He even tried to go low to get it, and it fell oh, off. Oh, man. He just can't get his wait, crown wait, back. Wait, right to the counter. Ooh, and he hit him with the blunderbuss. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> that, all right. Thank God he's a heavy character because now he just needs to get back on stage. Oh, the mega Y, that is scary. Oh, but yeah, the blunderbuss is uh... Ooh, and the dragon flame. Always gotta watch out for the dragon yeah, flame. Yeah, what, what if we gave a character with tons of range to keep it more? And that would be a stock for Min Min. But K. Rule still has the advantage to come back from this hit with him being K. Rule and all his super armor. Yeah, K. Rule has been going for a lot of up smashes when they're on the ground, though, which is uh, questionable at best, considering Min Min does not like to go in the air because she's a ground fighter. His smash attacks are kind of forgiving. Yep. Oh, man. Right. She does use an up smash. I don't know if she just Ooh, realized about And that's going to be a stock for K. Love. Right. I think right now that it's pretty evenly matched with K. Rule being at 50, what, 66 percent. Yeah, he's, he's got the heavyweight going for him, but it's, it, the gap is definitely widening now. It's and the, that uh, megawatt shield damage yeah. is just, yeah. I, I don't want to watch this. I think he may be going for too many blunderbusses yeah. right now. Honestly. Oh, this is sad. Poor, poor K. Rule. It's, it's never a good match against him in any way. He, so. he might switch, but he, he could still win this. This, this isn't That's true. Over. He's, he's hitting with a lot of projectiles. Getting a big oh damage God. off. Oh. oh. And the Megawatt is going to finish it out, but that's only one game. That means it's 0-1 Min Min right now, although he can take it back. I wonder if he'll switch. I think he will. All right. So, yeah, unfortunate loss to Caleb. Um, he, he's got a good sense of the matchup now. He knows how this player plays. And I and think... I doubt, I, I doubt the men will switch either. Yeah, so. I think he's got this. He could still win. Absolutely. All right, we going for a platform stage this time. We are not going to give her any space to stand on the ground and spam smash it next. All right, cool. That's smart. And they keep banning PS2, which is cringe. So. Uh, as of right now, I think Caleb's best option is to maybe stay on the platforms and stay very far I, I, away it, from her as possible until it, he can get an opening and then get close and demolish her. Yeah, it, it looks like the Min Min has banned all of the stages with platforms because they are a chicken. I mean, they um, smartly counterpicked against K. Rool. It would appear so. They're, they're big brand. They know what they're doing. They do. That's the scary part. But again, K. Rool is unexpected. He can do. But he, he's going small battlefield now. Which is good because that does have platforms and it is smaller. So. But if Min -Min's it's smaller, that means Min Min can. Oh boy! All right, they're locking in small battlefield. This is going to be a scary match. All right, all right, he's staying K. Rule. It he, looks he's like we're gonna stay K. Rule, and I'm assuming he's gonna stay Min Min. All right. Yeah. Now this is smart though, because yeah, now he has a better understanding of how to counter him as as uh, K. Rule. God, I'm still curious, dude. So I know K. Rule has a reflector. Can he reflect Min Min's arms? K. 
K-Roll cannot reflect Minmin's arms back at her, but he will not take damage. The only problem with reflecting it is, though, he'll be stun-locked for a good three seconds, and Minmin can throw out her other arm immediately. Will she not get hit by it? She will not get, she will not get it reflected by her own arm, but it will not, it, it will stop the attack, but her other arm will Will it deal damage to her? No. Too much range. Must be projectile. Okay. So it looks like same matchup, different stage. It looks like we're gonna have small battlefield with platforms this time, which is good for the K roll. With the platforms, he's gonna be able to stay up top. This is not looking good so far. Although the crown's gonna get him in, hit him with a blunderbuss. Miss a little bit, barely missing. Gonna throw out another blunderbuss. Gonna throw out another blunder. The reflector oh, killing no. the K roll. Oh, I thought she didn't know. Gotta watch out for K roll. Gotta watch out for the reflector. That's gonna be the I biggest problem here. Like gonna suck you. and shoot him out of the blunderbuss. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, that, that's the really down good. smash. The grab and the gigawatt. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Or the megawatt. Or how do you say yeah, it? Yeah, megawatt. I don't want to watch. Oh, and no. missing the ledge just barely. Just barely. It looks like he's definitely got a 3 1 comeback. Oh. Which I can see happening. He's going to have to take. He's going to do a Leo, he's gonna have to do a layout stock right here. Not looking too great. Oh, God. Min Min just being the perfect counter for K Roll is really gonna screw him here. Yeah, th this is sad to watch. Oh, he's going for the down air on him? No. No, don't. It looks like he's gonna hit a big. Like, Min Min, Min Min's trying to go for something high. I, I Min like Min how Min Min's here. trying to down air him and be hot, but she's been playing the entire time. Min Min's gonna hit with the Megawatt. Still not dead. 145% here. Yeah, Can K rule do it? He's gonna reflect the, his own crown and get hit with the megawatt that All right. end And that is the end of the game. So that will end it and it looks like Oh yeah, yeah, we have another. I'm so we sorry. We have one more match, but that does I, I, look like my intelligent we, not high. does look like that Marion is going to win this. Sadly, because of the point difference is we cannot actually win this anymore. Yep, so it, it does look like JV is, has lost this. But next... No no point in playing, not playing, though. This guy's waited this long. We might as well do it for the fun it of it. Be, Choose your All right. It will be a, the JV team captain this time. All right, I'll be right back. All right, it looks like this will be the last match of the day. All right, I'm going to unmute now. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. It looks like this will be the last match of the day. Our team captain, Diego, playing Ness versus Connor. Oh, Ness. Mew. Ness is the best character in the game. It's base. But he's playing a Mewtwo with a reflector. That's really the biggest problem. But then again, if he PK fires him once, he can PK fire him like four more times and he probably won't have time to reflect because his hitbox is ginormous. That's true, and Mewtwo is, I believe, the third lightest character in the game. One PK Thunder and he dies. True. Yeah, I, I love it when people go for uh, PK, PK Thunders. Um, but pop it rocket? Viewers don't know what that is. Um, Basically, rocket. you uh, hit yourself with the PK Thunder and you go flying and it does a lot of damage and knockback. 
and a YouTuber named Poppet One has named it the Poppet Rocket, and that is what we call it. Because it's basically you uh, recovering his nest on oh, yeah. stage. Well, what would you rather say, Poppet Rocket or hitting yourself with Nest PK Thunder and then hitting them with that? I think it's just better to say Poppet Rocket. I think it's Poppet Rocket. Yeah, it's better. just easier. Min-Min's not a fair character. Choose your fighter! Ready? All right, it here looks comes like the game. match is gonna start. Let's see what. Oh, and the reflector first. Of course, Mitsu does. Yeah, and he, he, he's scared of that PK fire. Oh yeah. Although I I've played Nest for a while, while he does rely a lot on his getting with the pop it rocket early, missing just barely with the shield, almost shield breaking. But yeah, oh his Ooh, shield. Oh, is shield. oh, and the shield break. Oh, no. Oh. We're gonna see a. Oh, almost, almost. Being one of the widest kicks oh, in the game, almost dying to just God, a I'm great so smash attack at 30%. Oh, I should have done the uh, down throw PSI magnet down there. That would be so sick. <laughs> Ooh, and a good kill. Why are they laughing a good at kill me? By Diego it is pro combo. With a uh, side air. Going to recover back on stage. Almost spiking Mewtwo. Oh my God. This is crazy. Yeah. Mewtwo's really getting... Uh, very comfortable in a shield here. Probably gonna get shield broken again, I'd say. Barely missing the recovery. He could have jumped. The shadow balls, he can he's just gonna absorb it. Going with side air, forward air, and chain. Oh, go, trying to pop it rocket. Oh the PK fires are coming out. It looks like uh, Diego's going to be down a stock now. The problem, the problem here... Oh! And he didn't tech. No tech, which means Mewtwo is now also going to be down a stock. Ness at 48%. Doesn't even matter because he's playing a Mewtwo. Mewtwo... Uh, the only thing Mewtwo has over Ness right now is a reflector. But looks like he's not going to use it that much. Ooh, getting hit by the Shadow Ball, actually being saved by it. Gonna recover now because of it. Gonna get hit by a big Shadow Ball right there. Oh, so close. Almost side magneting the Shadow Ball, but Mewtwo side smash, sadly. We are gonna have to go to round two. Hopefully, Diego can get him in this one. If they're at one stock and you have more than one stock, do it. And if you do a um, up, actually don't do that.
All right. All right. It looks like they're both going to change. Uh, it looks like Diego's going to switch to Lucas oh. and Connor's going to switch oh, to I, Ridley. Oh, I, I remember this Ridley. I, I, I remember him now. I, I didn't realize that this was the same guy, but I think this guy played against, I think... I think this guy played against Caleb. I don't remember when. But I think it was when I was commentating. Um, but yeah, I think Caleb lost because he hit a side B off stage and then he died because the side B like beaten him off stage. Like he used it like suicide side B. Yeah. Except Ridley was able to recover and he did. <laughs> oh. Oh, going with the pop it rocket again, gonna hit it. Nah, not anymore. Oh, and the strongest up smash in the game gonna take out Ridley. Now, the good thing here about Lucas is he can nair chain Ridley fairly easily with him being a large character. Big for Smash yet. You made it. Somehow. You didn't make it. Uh, I'm a big joke. Uh, apparently, Goku's going to What other fighting game? I don't know. I, I know he's in the platform fighter. I, I don't think it's making it in All Stars. Oh! He's going to. Okay, Ridley's actually going to hit a forward smash to. Yeah, I think I, I don't off stage as he's getting on lunch. I don't know if that was uh, if he would have stepped a ledge, but if he did, that that was a beautiful two frame. If not, it was still a beautiful forward smash. Very well timed. Yeah, th this is um. Yeah, this this guy is popping off. Oh, he's gonna hit him with side B. This is not looking good for this. Yeah. And sadly, uh, that's gonna end it here. Right. Very good games with everyone. Honestly, what do you, what do you think was your favorite out of all the games? Uh, my favorite game was probably the one where I beat that annoying joke. <laughs> nah, um, I'm kidding. My favorite one was probably the Little Mac Ditto. Gonna I am gonna have to agree with you there. I thought it was a very fun and entertaining game. Not to say that, not to discredit the other players in their games. They all did amazing in their own right, and great effort by everyone. We we won the varsity. That's I true. Var I think varsity won. Yeah, Var. Mr. Hortis did varsity win. Yeah, yeah varsity, varsity won. won. JV Dude, unfortunately did not win. Lost. But hey, we we got one of them, and Varsity's you know the bigger club. So That's I true. I think this is a big W for us. Honestly, so, yeah. So good job to all the competitors. Yeah. And yeah. Everyone played really well. Oh, so. for sure, and it was really close games too. Yeah. But right. that's where we're going to have to end the live stream because it's over. So. 